tragic end in the case of two missing siblings in Fayetteville. Our investigation has led us to evidence that both Blake and London are currently missing. Today, police put their adoptive mother in jail. Avante Devin was arrested this morning. She's charged with two counts of first-degree murder. Investigators describe the Devin household as one of horror and torture. We believe he was mentally abused. He was physically starved, and his body could no longer take the inhumane treatment. Their next-door neighbor watching the arrest unfold. It's the strangest thing that I've ever heard of happening right now. The woman once in charge of caring for two adopted children is now charged with killing them. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rod Carter. And I'm Angela Taylor. CBS 17 was the first station to share news of her arrest. Today's continued coverage and this latest in a series of reports on the search for Blake and London Devon. CBS 17's Galat Malama joins us live from Fayetteville tonight. And Galat, Avante Devon faces a list of new charges. Yes, she does, and she's being held here at the Cumberland County Detention Center with no bond. Fayetteville police describe the abuse and horrible living conditions that they say Blake and Devin suffered, Blake and London Devin suffered through. Fayetteville police say Blake and London Devin's bodies could no longer stand the abuse and neglect. Police say their adoptive mother, Avante Devin, put them through. Investigators uncovered partial human remains that they believe are Blake's and remains a lab confirmed as London's. She is believed to have died in the same painful way, in the same painful, callous manner that Blake died from, little starvation and neglect. This morning, police arrested Devin at her home on Berrydale Drive. She's charged with two counts of first-degree murder, two counts of felony child abuse, two counts of concealment of death, and kidnapping. Fayetteville police say in November they responded to a mental health crisis call at the home. The victim said they had not seen their brother Blake Devin in five years. Police started their investigation, discovering Devin adopted five children. At least three of them, they say, grew up in appalling conditions. They were given little or no food and could earn nourishment through by, quote, doing paperwork. That means they had to write hundreds of paragraphs to apologize for behaving. It is alleged some of the children were also beaten to the point of needing medical care, but only natural cures like honey were given. Police say Devin only reported Blake missing after the investigation began and that she never reported London missing. Fayetteville Police Sergeant Jeff Lockler says Blake likely passed away at the family's previous home on Eichelberger Drive. Then, Avante developed a plan to hide Blake's remains, and she forced another person in the household to participate. They dismembered him and burned his remains. Rockler says the remains of London and a set of a child's remains still being tested were removed from a metal burn barrel. She treated the dogs and cats better than she treated him. John Whitaker lives next door, and like other neighbors we spoke to, the horror going on in the Devon home is something they could not imagine. I thought they, you know, they were, somebody had killed them, you know. But I didn't think the chopping up part and the burning part is like way beyond what I thought. And for Blake's biological mother, Felicia Chandler, she tells us this is the most terrifying nightmare a mother slash parent could ever get, let alone imagine. Chandler says it would have been tough to do an interview today as she has barely been able to stop crying. I did ask Fayetteville police what comes next for Devin's other adopted children, and they say that they are not able to share any more information at this time. Live in Fayetteville, DeWalt Malamed, CBS 17 News. Just absolutely it's, heartbreaking. It's terrible. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, Colette. The adoptive mother facing murder charges in the deaths of two siblings is due in court today. Blake and London Devon were missing for years, and now police say they were starved and abused until they died. WRL's Kelsey Coffey is at the Cumberland County Courthouse. Kelsey Avante Devon is facing some shocking allegations. Michelle, she is, and we're expecting to see her here in court for the first time in just a few hours. This as police revealed new details about Blake and London yesterday. They say the two children were likely abused and starved to death. Devin is facing multiple charges this morning, including first-degree murder, felony child abuse, and concealment of death. She's accused of forcing someone else to burn and dismember their bodies. Police say Devin kept Blake, London, and her other adopted kids in small rooms sometimes in complete darkness with little or no food. WRL spoke with Brianna Morrow, once known as Cherish Devin, who lived with them as a child. It was very horrible. Um, you know, there were days where we didn't go without, with, with showers, we didn't go with baths. 
Um, the only time we could turn on the bathtub or the sink was to get water. Avante Devon's first court appearance is scheduled for this afternoon at 2.30. Kelsey Coffey, WRL News, live in Fayetteville. And the FBI, as well as local investigators for the better part of the day in this case, one thing that I think all of us want to know is why social services didn't intervene earlier in this case. We're trying to piece together as much as possible tonight before Avante Devon goes before a judge right here tomorrow. <coughs> It's not long before Fayetteville police move in. Ring doorbell video from right across the way on Berrydale Drive shows it all. The moment captured by James Howard's camera. This just didn't happen overnight. This has been going on for years. Howard, a veteran of Operation Desert Storm, was suspicious of his neighbor long before investigators came here for a mental health check back in November and long before we knew two children were missing from this Fayetteville home. She gave me a whole fake name and all that. You know, I didn't know none of this stuff. Neither did we until today. Investigators revealed the two children they had been looking for since April, Blake and London Devon, were dead. Their remains allegedly found in the town of Autryville, 25 miles to the east in Sampson County in metal barrels. The alleged killer, their adoptive mother, Avante Devon. Avante Devon. He said to have kept them all, or kept them in small rooms, in complete darkness at times. They were given little or no food, and could earn nourishment through by, quote, doing paperwork. Fayetteville detectives walked us through some of the gruesome details Wednesday, and that family members allegedly also helped cover up the crimes. We learned today Blake has been missing since 2017, London since 2019. And police said when they asked Avante where Blake was, she said, quote, he was at a Buddhist retreat in the mountains. If alive today, Blake would have been 17, London 27. We've seen so much, but seen so little at the same time. Howard not phased by much. I've been to war, so it's, you know, I don't know how to explain it. But still sad tonight. I feel bad that it happened to them. We all feel bad that this happened to them. We also went to the courthouse, Steve, right around the corner from where we're standing right now to try and dig up some records to see how many times social services has been to that Berrydale Drive home. But we were told to come back for that as well as any other records involved in this case. As an also, Steve, Steve, uh, Devin had three other children in her custody, and according to detectives tonight, those children are out of the house and they are okay. Devin, again, has that court appearance here tomorrow in the afternoon. We'll be following it every step of the way. Back to you. Yeah.